Warning, this content may not be suitable for all audiences. What is the weirdest thing you've heard or had happened to you while using a public restroom? I had the pleasure of hearing some poor soul trying to pass a kidney stone in a movie theater restroom. His screams would have scared the shit out of me if that wasn't why I was in there in the first place. Some guy in the Seattle Greyhound station overdosed in the women's bathroom and I had to call 911. The paramedics moved him to the lobby where he died while we were waiting for our bus. I was 16. Worked for a really large company and decided to use the restroom near the boardroom, more private. When I walked in, one of our board members is at a urinal wearing a suit and jacket, with his pants and undies dropped all the way to the ground. Apparently that is how this 70-year-old man has peed his entire life. Just odd. This girl was moaning in the stall next to me and I assumed she was masturbating so I walked by without looking. She called out help. It turns out she was moaning in pain and she was having a medical emergency. I called an ambulance. I was driving between Houston and Austin and stopped at a gas station to go pee. I do my business and start washing my hands when I looked up and saw a man covered head to toe in burn marks staring at me from a stall. I didn't hear or see anyone when I went inside so I literally jumped and ran out of there. I still feel bad about it but I like to tell myself it was a ghost so I don't feel like such an asshole. Meth head in a Toronto second cup bathroom warned me that dolphins are not to be trusted and told me about how they're mind controlling humans while I peed. Not me but it happened to my son. He was about 4 maybe 5 at the time. We were on vacation in San Francisco California. We were on Fisherman's Wharf and my son and I went in to use the restroom. It was cool and rainy day and the tile floors were wet. We go in a stall so he could pee as all the urinals were taller than him. So he drops trough and hikes up his shirt and jacket and saddles up to the toilet and he starts peeing. Well he is on his tippy toes and all of a sudden he is head first in the toilet. He slipped and nose dived into the toilet. He was soaked head to waist. I get him out of the toilet. I'm struggling so hard trying not to laugh. I get him out and strip his shirt and jacket off of him and just put them in the trash and wash and dry him off. Take my jacket and put it on him. He's crying and I'm dying from laughter inside. We get out of the bathroom and head to the nearest store and get him a new shirt and jacket. Then find my wife and daughter. Who both proceeded to ask why he was in all new clothes. Then once I tell them they start laughing. He still hates when I bring up the time he fell into the toilet at Fisherman's Wharf. I was in the bathroom of a movie theater peeing in a urinal when I felt something tug on my shirt. I turned around and there was this little kid, had to be younger than five. He asked if I could hold him up so he can pee in the urinal next. We are the only ones in this bathroom and I'm peeing hard because I just got out of a movie. I had such a dad moment though because I said ask your mom. He said okay and skipped out of the bathroom. I didn't even wash my hands, I just wanted to be out of there before a Dateline camera crew showed up. I had a very spicy lunch at work. By the time I got off of work, in Chicago traffic, it finally hit me. I desperately got off on the nearest exit. Took an extra 30 minutes to get to an 8 minute drive to a ramp for anyone not lucky enough to experience the traffic. Basically about to shit my pants, I get to the nearest gas station. I come into the women's bathroom praying for no one to be in there since it wasn't about to be pleasant to be in the same room. Come rushing in, and find a lady at the mirror. No biggie, she's about to leave right? No, I sit down and start to do my business. It was not silent, both in sound nor smell. But I still hear her at the mirror and there was a smacking sound, almost like her doing her mascara. No biggie, she'll get the hint and leave soon. Right? No, I continue. Still there. I finish and come out of the stall to her hunched over the sink, on her phone, while snacking on mini sausages. This bitch was full on enjoying herself while I was violently blowing up the bathroom. She acted completely unfazed, moved out of my way when I needed to wash my hands, and continued to stay in the bathroom when I left. Still on her phone, Still eating. I was pooping and let out a really violent fart and someone outside said bet that burned and he sounded like Larry the Cable Guy. Not necessarily a public restroom. I worked at a financial company with over 2,000 people in one office. There are around 10 different bathrooms in the building, all with multiple stalls slash urinals. Anyway, I was on my break and ran to the bathroom to relieve myself. I saw someone in one of the stalls because feet and doors were closed. As I walk up to the urinal, I hear the guy sneeze. I say bless you like people do for some reason. Guy in the stall hits me back with. That wasn't a sneeze. I just left and went to a different bathroom. My sister always believed in the importance of teaching her son, even from a young age, to use the correct terminology for genitalia. 
There was no that's your pee pee or those are your privates. It was always that is your penis. So the day before Christmas Eve we are doing some last minute shopping. My nephew was mostly potty trained at this time, but still wore a diaper just in case. She goes off to do some shopping and I take him to the washroom for a change as he has had an accident. As I'm wiping him clean, he screams bloody murder in a washroom full of people and he don't touch my penis. I was fucking mortified. Worrying that people are thinking I'm molesting him. So I say loudly, yet kindly, we have to make sure you're clean. I've never been so embarrassed in my life walking out of that stall. And to top it off, I was like 19 but definitely looked younger. I was sitting in a toilet stall at a Zaxby's, trying to shoot it allotted, when some dude in the stall next to me got a phone call from his wife I guess. It sounded pretty heated, but at one point he said tell Roger not to ever poke grandma without a condom. Dot. Maybe I misheard. Maybe he knew a dope head was in the next stall and he was trying to knock me off kilter for shits and giggles. I don't know the answer to these things and I suspect they're lost to the mysteries of the universe. Never did go back to a Zaxby's though. When I was a kid, my parents worked in a university as professors and I would go to their offices after school until they finished work and we would go home. Importantly, the men's and women's bathrooms were right next to each other. And they had the type of ceilings which are tiles resting on a grid type metal grid. One day, I was about 10 years old, I went to the bathroom. I was sitting on the toilet in the stall and for some reason looked up, directly over my head. There was a guy looking down at me. He had climbed up from the men's side, removed the ceiling tiles, and was peeping at the female college students as they went to the bathroom. Apparently I was the first person that looked up. When I was younger, high school age, I had been constipated for a few days, I got the urge while I was in the mall and went to the bathroom. It was empty when I got there and was having a rough time pushing this meteorite out. Then I hear some people walk in, a man and a woman talking, then they started making out. Now I was a pretty shy kid, so I tried hard not to make noise and be noticed. Next thing I know I can see through the crack in the stall that the girl is taking off her pants. I guess it escalated to the point where I was getting nervous which caused the giant shit I was trying to take to rock it out. They of course noticed, and she says oh shit someone's in here then they rushed out. It was in my small college town, somewhere around 2015. It was Halloween, and I was stumbling back towards my dorm more than slightly intoxicated when I very urgently needed to pee. I'm not one for peeing in public, so I started looking around for places I could stop for the needed pit stop. There was a bar still open on the main strip I had to walk past, so I decided to shuffle in and try to get to the bathroom before a staff member could ask me to buy something. It was empty inside. People had mostly headed off to their separate Halloween parties. I somehow made it to the bathroom without incident, but immediately paused in place. Inside the bathroom were four men in hooded robes, standing silently and facing each other. I'm internally a little weirded out but also laughing, because Halloween shenanigans I'm sure. But then they all start moving, as though animated at once. One starts washing his hands for way longer than is necessary. One is just drying his hands for way longer than necessary, and I'm relatively sure it was never even wet in the first place. One of them is holding a manned wrapper and he's peeling it into small pieces, flitting them to the inside of a nearby urinal and placing others in his pocket. He then handed me one of the torn pieces while asking me, Do you fear death, my dude? This guy's delivery was simultaneously one of the most hilarious and eerie things I've ever heard. Something about his inflection upwards on the my dude, combined with the stone cold way the sentence began. I was unsure how to respond. I think I told him something like hard to say, I've never almost died. He nodded as though my words were profound and affecting. They then all returned to their robotic strange bathroom rituals, not quite ever progressing in their respective tasks. I washed my hands, dried them, and walked out before any one of the men had finished whatever it is they seemed to be doing. The bathroom door clicked shut behind me, and suddenly I'm back in the sleepy bar ambience. Counters being wiped, and chair stacking was beginning. I shuffled out and away into the Halloween night, with no clear idea what the hell just happened. I'm sure they were just kids having some Halloween fun, and they were probably on some kinds of mild drugs? Whatever it was, I still remember it these several years later. I went into a Target to take a pee. After relieving myself, it was a photo finish, I turned to wash my hands. In the sink, there was a goldfish in a plastic bag. Now, Target doesn't sell fish, so it was kinda odd to say the least. I could tell there was a person in one of the stalls. Concerned that this goldfish had been abandoned, I nervously asked the dude in the stall if this was his fish in the sink. A deep ass voice boomed back at me, what? I repeated my question, is this your fish in the sink? 
There was a long pause, as if the target pooper was trying to understand my question. He finally replied, nah, man, that ain't my fish. So I took it home, had to buy a whole setup, tank and filter, etc. And that's the story of how I rescued a goldfish from the target bathroom. My parents taught me about puberty and sex long before I should have, and corrupted me from a very young age. When I was six years old, my friend and I entered a public bathroom at a pizza place, and she said hey that weirdo of 4 do you want to go in the same stall as me? And me, wanting to come up with a solid excuse to not go into the bathroom with her said no, our boobies are almost full grown. Don't ask my why I said that, I was 6. The woman who was behind us in line started cracking up so loudly that she couldn't control herself and ran out of the bathroom laughing. We had a company all hands meeting at artisan theater that was way too far from our office to be cool. So after a four hour session of watching executives pat themselves on the back, we were finally turned loose and started the long walk back to the office. I had to pee like crazy, so me and another guy stopped into a bar. Happened to be a gay bar, about 5 p.m. on a weekday. When I went into the bathroom, the urinal was one of those steel troughs bolted to the wall, and there was a shirtless man laying in the urinal, with two dudes peeing on him. I really had to go but noped out of that whole scene and used the toilet stall with no door on it, I could speculate why they took the doors off, but I'd rather not. When I got done, I turned around and the guy I worked with was zipping up at the urinal. Waking back to the office was pretty quiet, eventually I just asked did you pee on that guy? He said yeah in this quiet voice that didn't invite further discussion. Okay. Gay bar. Me, a lesbian, goes looking for the women's bathroom. No luck. Directions unclear. Not my language. Okay, men's restroom it is. Half dozen urinals in front of half dozen stalls. First stall, no door. Second stall, broken door. Third stall, dirty AF. And so on. Until I find one that closes, but does not lock. Who cares? Men here don't care for my junk. Time to pee. And I can hold the door with my hand, middle of my business, two pints of beer leaving my body, someone yanks the door open. And here it is. A six feet three inches huge man muscle and fat, dressed up as a Valkyrie, helmet, horns, sword, but with a Floreal granny nightgown underneath and just stops and stares at me. And I'm there. Pissing and staring open mouthed at this giant. I don't even know what. As soon as the pee stops, he just says well? You done? I nod, wipe and guys, he already was sitting down on the toilet as I was yanking my pants up. And he told me to close the stall door as I went out. At a heavy metal concert. Fear Factory slash Ministry slash Meshuggah for you, and I'm in the stall pooping. Concert hasn't started yet. I hear this convo out by the urinals, oh uh, sorry man, it's alright. It's a nice cock isn't it? Uh sure. <laughs>